sign convention for reflection of spherical mirrors. Sign convention for reflection of spherical mirrors. The sign convention is named as New Cartesian Sign Convention. New Cartesian Sign Convention. In this sign convention, the pole of the mirror is taken as the origin of coordinate system. The pole of the mirror is taken as the origin and the principal axis is taken as x axis, principal axis is taken as x axis and the perpendicular to it at the origin is taken as y axis. Like this we adopt a coordinate system to measure the distances. The distances to the right are taken as positive. The distances to the left from origin are taken as negative. The object is always placed to the left of the mirror. The object is always placed to the left of the mirror. This implies that the light from the object falls on the mirror by traveling from left to right. All distances parallel to the principal axis are measured from the pole of the mirror, from the origin. All the distances measured to the right become positive and all the distances measured to the left become negative. Distances measured perpendicular to the principal axis in the upward direction are positive and in the downward direction they are negative because upward direction is positive direction of x axis and downward direction is negative direction of y axis. Like this we adopt a sign convention to measure the distances. Let us try to explain the sign convention by using the following figure. In the figure Mn is a concave mirror P is its pole, x x prime is principal axis. Now A B is the object, it is upright, it is upwards, it is along the positive direction of y axis. A prime B prime is downwards, this is image. Now the distance of incident light, it is negative because it is situated to the left of the origin. There are no distances to the right. So from this figure we can understand the sign convention that we adopt. Formula applicable in a mirror. The relation between u, v, f is given by 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. In this relation u is object distance that is from pole of the mirror to the position of object along the principal axis. V is image distance, the distance of the image from the pole of the mirror along the principal axis and F is the focal length, that is the distance from the pole of the mirror to the focus. Pole is P, focus is F. So PF is F. PB is object distance U. P B prime is image distance V. The relation between U V F is 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. Magnification. Magnification. It is the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object. Ratio of height of image to the height of object. If we represent the height of the object as h, height of image as h prime and the magnification by small m, then small m is equal to h prime by h, image height divided by object height. This is the relation for magnification. The relation for magnification becomes equal to minus v by u by substituting the values of u v you will get m is equal to minus v by u. 
it is h prime by h or minus v by u. The height of the object is always taken as positive because it is in the upright position that is positive direction of y axis. Virtual images will be erect. So, the heights of virtual images are positive, but the real images are inverted. So, the heights of the real images are negative. By substituting these values, if, by, if you get m value as positive, that indicates it is a virtual image. If m value is positive, it is a virtual image. If m value is negative, it indicates a real image.